Welcome to part 9 of my Spring Fling Garden. Getting started on round 46, if you're carrying up the yarn, you can start with a chain 1. We finished off the last round by joining with this slip stitch in this small puff, which is just before that slip stitch we made in our V-stitch. So to get started on the repeat for the round, we're going to work a front post half double crochet in that small puff. So working around the front of the post, a half double crochet. For my first one, I'm working a standing half double crochet. Now that slip stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet in that slip stitch. Next, we're going to work a front post half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. Now, an easy way to do this without having to count, well, you can count them out before you get started, is you have this increase of these two puffs at the peak, in the center peak where this is. And we're going to be working until that puff, the first puff of that increase should total 18. So making sure to work around that first one. We're working a front post half double crochet. don't normally snag this round, but I'm on camera and it's a little bit more difficult to see. It's a lot easier to do without the camera in your face. And then one more for a total of 18. Now we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch in between those two puffs. So we have that increase right there, the two puffs. In between them we're working a half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same space for your V stitch. Now we're going to work a front post half double crochet in the next 17 stitches. So working around the front post, a half double crochet. And that'll bring you back to where we started, which will be one puff away from that slip stitch. So I'm not going to count the 17 stitches. I'm just going to work them up here. Working a front post half double crochet. Oh, so there's the slip stitch, one stitch before. That'll give me a total of 17 back post half double crochets. Brings me back to where I started. That's the repeat for the round. Do that seven more times. And then you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning half double crochet. Getting started on round 47. If you're carrying up the yarn, you can slip stitch into the next double crochet, so this stitch here, and you can draw up green or you can carry up the current color you have, 
And we're going to get started on the repeat for the round. I'll be working a standing stitch. We're going to do a half double crochet V stitch in that double crochet. So you, at this point, if you're doing carrying up your yarn, you can start with a chain three, which will count as your beginning half double crochet in chain one. There's the half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same stitch for our half double crochet V stitch. Now we have a little repeat to do a total of six times. We need to skip the next two half double crochet and then half double crochet in the next half double crochet. So one, two, working in the next, a half double crochet V stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet for the V stitch. So that's the little repeat. We need to do a total of six times. I've done it once. We're going to do one, two, skip those. Working in the next, that half double crochet V stitch. So there's two. Skip two, working in the next. A half double crochet V stitch. That's three. Four. Skip two. V, half double crochet V stitch in the next. That's five. One, two. And then there's six. We're going to skip that next half double crochet right there. And then in that chain space, we're going to work two half double crochet V stitches. So half double crochet chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch for a V stitch. Do that again. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same. We're going to skip the next half double crochet, so this one, and then work a half double crochet in the next half double crochet. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch for a V stitch. Now we have that little repeat that we need to do a total of five times. I'm sorry, trying to get the piece adjusted here. Which is to skip two and then half double crochet V stitch in the next. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So I've done that once. We need to do it a total of five times. Skip two, half double crochet V stitch in the next. That's two. three, four, and then one more for a total of five. You can skip those two last half double crochets. That brings us back to where we started. You can continue repeating that around seven more times, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning half double crochet. Getting started on round 48, we joined with a slip stitch in this half double crochet V stitch right here. And it is the one that's lined up with that double crochet. So for this one, you can slip stitch in that chain space and 
start from there, either drawing up a different color or carrying up. And we're going to get started on the repeat for the round, which is to work a small pop in that half double crochet V stitch. For the first one, you can either work a chain three for the first double crochet. I'm going to work a standing double crochet and on your repeats you can work a regular double crochet. Now the small pop is three double crochets so we've done one we need to do two more. There's two, three, draw up a little loop, insert it into that beginning double crochet back into your working loop, tighten and draw up a loop. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. Now we need to do that a total of eight times, that little repeat. So I've done it once. The little repeat is to work a small pop which is three double crochets. There's one double crochet, two, three, draw up a loop, remove your hook, put it into that first double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. Chain three, one, two, three. So I've done that twice. I need to do it a total of eight times. So three double crochet pop, chain three, oops, I snagged something there. One, two, three. So I've done that three times. I need to do it a total of eight and I will meet you when I'm done. So far I've done a total of seven. I'm going to be working up my last repeat here. One, two, three. Now it says small pop in the space between the half double crochets. So right in that space between those two half double crochets, we're doing a small pop, which is three double crochets. There's one, two, and then three. Chain three, one, two, three, And then work a small pop in the next half double crochet V stitch. So three double crochets. For a small pop. Now that was a little repeat that we need to do a total of seven times. I've done it once. The repeat is to chain three. One, two, three. Small pop in the next half double crochet V stitch. So three double crochets for the small pop. Draw up, insert in the beginning and tighten. So that's twice. I needed to do that seven times. So chain three, one, two, three, small pop in the next half double crochet V stitch. So I've done that a total of three times. You can do that a total of 
seven, so four more times, and I'll meet you when you're done. Finishing up my last repeat here. So that's the last repeat. And then we can chain three. One, two, three. It brings us back to where we started. You can repeat that around seven more times, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning small pop. Getting started on round 49, we joined in this pop, which is lined up with this double crochet in the middle. You can start with a chain one and we're gonna get started on the repeat for the round which is to work a front post single crochet in that pop. So working around the post. A single crochet, I can't see what I'm doing here. Hold on, let's try this again. There we are. We're going to half double crochet in the space between the half double crochet V stitches from round 47. So the green round, we're going to work a half double crochet in there. Now we have a little repeat that we need to do a total of seven times. And the little repeat is to work a front post single crochet around that next small pop. Single crochet in the chain three space. Half double crochet in the space between the half double crochet V stitches from round 47. So those three stitches are the repeat. I've done it once. Front post single crochet in the next pop. Single crochet in the chain three space half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 47. So that's two. Front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 47. That's three. Oops. There's four. And five. Six. And then once more. And then for this one, when you work that half double crochet, it's worked in that same space with that middle pop. Might be a little bit tricky in there. So that's the repeat seven times. Next, we're going to work a front post single crochet V stitch in the next small pop. So this next small pop working a front post single crochet, chain one, and then front post single crochet in that same pop for your front post single crochet V stitch. Now we have a little repeat that we need to do a total of seven times. We're going to work a single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches. So it's going to be in that one with that center pop there. And then front post single crochet in that small pop. So those are the three stitches for the repeat. Just let me get unsnagged here. I've done it once, we'll do it again. Single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in the space between 
those half double crochet V stitches from round 47 and then front post single crochet in the next pop. So we've done that twice, single crochet in the chain 3 space, half double crochet in the space between those V stitches, front post single crochet in the small pop. That's three, four, five. Oh, I still have one more stitch in that fifth repeat. So there's five. Six, and then this is our last repeat, and then seven. We're going to half double crochet in the next space between the V stitches from round 47. So, working in here, a half double crochet. And I believe that brings us back to where we started. Yes. So that's the repeat. I've done it once. You can do it seven more times. Joining with a slip stitch to your beginning front post single crochet. That brings us to the end of this section. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.